Hey, look, it's time for our weekly look at the world through Bruno's eyes. And this week, the List King has a very special Ooh. treat for on feedback that was based from viewers of the Ben Robin Robbo show for his next list. Bruno, you have created the ultimate Aussie TV list. Yeah, gentlemen. And this took me a while because I don't know if you remember, last week I mentioned that I'd missed out on watching a lot of television uh, because I was forced to watch French TV. So I spent the weekend, uh, the long weekend, cramming in uh, all these different shows. And actually, the Ben Rob and Robbo viewers were really good in giving me an indication, not necessarily of what were good shows, uh, but what they considered to be very terrible shows. And Married at First Sight kept on popping up time and time again. <laughs> but I didn't include Married at First Sight because I wanted shows with a little bit more longevity than yep. that, right? So I didn't I didn't include those. And I should, should also say, um, Ben, I know that you sort of put in a few votes and you had mentioned Big Brother, but I haven't included franchises uh, that are done internationally oh, either. Oh, no, that's yeah, really I, I just, cool. I, I wanted to make it relatively purely Australian. Australian. Yeah, 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 yeah. Fair because enough. I think that I think the coming really up really with the concept sense. plays into it. Yes, yes, yeah, I, think I think that's good. I think it's a smart move. All right, All right. well. Let's have a look, we, Bruno. Uh, I'm desperate to have a look. <laughs> Let's have a look. All right. So I'll just remind everyone how the tiers work, right? And we start off yeah. down the bottom with cat vomit tier. Let me walk you through it. We've got Who Dares oh. Wins. We've got Celebrity no, Splash. We've no, got Arcade, no, McLeod's Bruno, Daughters. Bruno, Bruno, and Bruno, it's a knockout. Bruno. I don't think Bruno, Bruno so takes commentary on these lists, Robbo. No, no, I'll tell you. Uh, yeah, they're now. not up for discussion. All, so moving on to the next tier. <laughs> no, Bruno, 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 I just wanted to say I really love this combo that you've got here, the fairy neck. It, it's 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 working for me big time. Uh, it's no longer working for me. Who Dares Wins was a fantastic show. Actually, I agree. Not it really. was a pretty good show. No, no, Who Dares Wins sucks. So they'd basically go up to someone <laughs> in a shopping centre and they'd be like, hey, for this $50 note, do you want to do an activity like skydiving that people normally pay $350 for? And then the reactions Stupid. would be so scripted. Oh, no, I'm scared of heights. <laughs> Not me. Right? We loved it, Bruno. Be... We, see, here's the problem. Australians love their um, crappy TV. I loved Who Dares Wins. I think Arcade's right there because that didn't last long anyway. That was That's a real obscure reference, actually, Arcade. Well, a lot of money was put into Arcade uh, yes, to, yeah. to, to recreate like a, a, a shopping mall. And, um, you know, I mean, for those that don't really know the premise of Arcade, it's like, oh, the, the life and times of uh, retail workers in a shopping mall, you know, as if we've all been walking around shopping malls being like, <laughs> I wonder what's <laughs> going on here. What's what's. What's this all about here now? Although without it, we wouldn't have had the set for Neighbours because famously, um, Arcade became Lassiter's, where Lassiter's is and all the outside locations on the Channel 10 set. There you go. We better oh, have a look know, at the I next didn't know team. that. Maybe, maybe I should bump it up. But, guys, how do we feel about It's a Knockout? Because I know that I had a lot of people talking it up, uh, but I've got to tell you, for me, because you know it's based on a French show called Interville, and I would watch Interville as a kid, and then I watched the uh, couple of episodes of the Australian version, It's a Knockout, and it's basically just the Bogan version. Yeah, we loved it. it. It's terrible. We loved it, Bruno. Back in Bruno, the day. I, yeah, just, I mean, I, I just if yeah, if you could just give me one second, I'm just gonna get my phone and I've got to find the unfollow button for you because so far. <laughs> the I've got to say, Bruno, you might have, you should have spoken to us before you finalised this Billy list. Billy J. Smith. Yeah. Billy yeah. Smith, well, hang on a second. Oh do, guys, do we have an issue, say, with Celebrity Splash? Surely Celebrity Splash. Yeah. All no, three that's of you fine. We'll agree. That's it fine. It was oh, a piece God, of garbage. Yep. Yeah, yep. Yeah. Yeah, that's well, fine. Yep. Let's move yep. up to Terrible. the next tier, the pleb tier. Oh. All right, no there's some way. shows there. So, Pack to the Rafters, Prisoner, Beauty and the Beast, Home and Away, and Hey, Hey, It's Saturday. I think we can all agree here. Hey, Hey, It's Saturday. I think you're wrong. We love the nostalgia <laughs> of it. Like, we like the idea of Hey, Hey, It's Saturday. But, I mean, I, I, I think it spoke for itself when the show came back a few years ago. And uh, nobody was No, no, it. no. But it, it, it was of its time <laughs> and it had some controversy when it came back. Mate, I love Hey, Hey, It's So Much. I actually listen to a podcast each week called Hey, Hey, It's The Podcast where they watch old episodes of Hey, Hey, It's Saturday and then tell us about it. That's how much I love the show. 
How much free time do you have? Boy, oh boy. Had I known that, I would have dropped it lower. (laughs) In fact, people watching this show call me Daryl Summers. They reckon I'm a wannabe Daryl Summers. Do your best, Daryl. Do your best, Daryl Summers. Can can we talk about Home and Away for a second? I know that it's got, um, you know, a bit of a cult following in this country, but what is it with Australians not really knowing how to act. And I know that that's a horrible oh, thing to say, but don't you feel heart. that but but don't you feel that the accent gets overdone in home and away? They add an extra 20% accent cuz it's being done for an international audience. It, well, okay, that's fine, but don't expect me to <laughs> watch it cuz I can't relate to any of the characters, right? I just look at them no. like you guys are gross. I have nothing in common with any of you. Fair enough. I agree with that. Maybe we yeah. should move All on. Right. <laughs> All right, let's go to mid tier, which is the Adam Sandler tier. We've got Man Oh Man, Water oh, Rats, what a Wentworth, show. Full oh, Frontal Slash, on. Fast Forward, and A Country Practice. Um, <gasps> no, 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 we've, we, no, no, we, we've, we've, we've lost the link to Bruno here. We've lost the link. Unfortunately, he's going through a tunnel. He's put A Country Practice on not the top level. What the bloody hell's got? Bruno, is everything okay at home? I'm worried about you. Do I? Uh, 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 I'm Australian. <laughs> Drop it I know lower, what you want to say. Back to the psych ward. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I didn't, oh, no, 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 Bruno. I didn't mean that. It's I was, okay. It was a I'm safe. Joke. <laughs> I no, no. I've been in no, one too. So sorry, it doesn't I'll, matter. It doesn't matter. Move I'll on. I'll say, you know, Ben. Earlier in the show, I heard you talking about how you still had the DVD set for. Was it fast forward? Uh, yeah, I have Fast Forward. I also have Big Girl's Blouse, which is really funny, uh, with Jane Turner, Gina Riley and Magda Stavansky. Um, and, the com- and the comedy company. Fast Forward Comedy Company, Big Girl's Blouse. Do, do you feel like Fast Forward holds up? Because I watch a few of oh, the no, skits and I was like, oh, jeez. Well, no. look, the other week I thought it would be really nice to unwind on a Friday night and have an edible, which was, should, should have helped me with the process. And, uh, and it was not funny at all. We just sat there and, you know, we were an audience ready to go. It, was, it, it didn't stand up as well. But you know what? There's key things that are in those skits that still work, but 95% has sort of fallen over. Mm. Doesn't it make you realise that even a few years ago, Nothing, we weren't particularly clever with our humour. I mean, I just find the sketches to just be so blatant and without subtlety that I was watching it being but, like... But when you look at I, it through a 20... The- with the 2020 lens, looking back at something from the 90s, of course uh, it, 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 wasn't, it wasn't a well-constructed um, situation comedy. It was a sketch show turned around very quickly and we loved it at the time. But, yeah, I've watched it back. It does not hold up. Uh, should we move on to the royalty tier? Yeah, yeah. And, and I was oh just going God. to say, Rob, uh, saying, mm. you know, uh, looking at these shows through a 2020 lens, I feel that the next two categories... We're doing just that. We're looking at it through a okay. 2020 lens and it's still coming out really, really good. So let's jump into royalty tier. So we've got Summer Heights High, uh, Police Rescue, <sighs> Neighbours, The Chasers, War and Everything, and Mother and Son. And, Summer and, Heights and, High? Oh, Summer yeah. Heights High. Uh, I think if you were talking only... about humour and clever writing, no, no, I think I'm, I'm, I'm not the only on go- I think I'm the only person in Australia who does not care for his comedy. Chris Lee. Yeah. yeah. R- right. I, I, I mean, I, could, I can't understand. I, I can't understand that because I just find the guy to be so clever, so creative. Yeah, the storyline mm. is so absurd. And by the way, people nowadays are still quoting lines and characters from <laughs> Summer Heights High. Yeah, which, look, which, I, I'm in the minority on this one. So I'll le- I'll, I'm happy to leave it there. But uh, actually, I'd probably bank it down a tier, but fair enough. I, I know I'm in the minority. I just don't care for it. Yeah, what about Mother and Son? Because that's oh, fantastic. Classic. I had not watched it. it and I binged episodes and I was like, where has that been all my life? What a, what a fantastically written uh, and acted show. It's so yeah. good. Yeah, it's it's a great Gary comedy. Gary McDonald's a genius. <clears throat> great. Gary McDonald's oh, a genius what? and Ruth Cracknell is amazing. If you go back and watch on YouTube, the last time she was at the Logie, she gave a speech. It might have been for like a Lifetime Achievement Award, but both of those Australian, they're Australian icons. Move it up the tier. 
Move it up a tier. <laughs> <laughs> all right, let's go to God tier just to um, just to round it all off, guys. Frontline blue heelers, Kath and Kim, of course, way. Underbelly, and Russell Coit's all oh, Aussie I Adventures. All yeah, yeah, guys, I don't think that we're gonna have any argument there. Well, no, no. <laughs> um, I, I, my my only thing is I would swap. I would move Russell down one. I'd move a country practice into the top spot and then I'd move uh, Summer Heights high down to where our uh, country practice is. But otherwise, I think that's a good royalty to you, mate. It's the Ben, Rob and Rob, oh, Ben, Rob and Rob, oh, Ben, Rob and Rob, oh, Show.